Let's ready with Teacher Nadia. Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. English Year 6 with Teacher Nadia. Unit 7, Healthy and Wise. For today's lesson, we shall focus on reading and there are two main objectives to be achieved. Namely, first, complete the circle map with appropriate information and second, answer the comprehension questions based on the passage read. Let's get started. Before we go further, let's watch this video. This video is about the traditional way to cook. Can you spot what did he use to cook his meal? Ha, again, can you spot what did he use to cook his meal? Yes, the traditional stuff using charcoal, pestle and mortar, and banana leaves. It looks interesting and the food is really mouth-watering. Now, let's read this passage together. You may find this passage from your textbook on page 64. In the old days, food tasted better and was more nutritious. This is because of the cooking methods our great-grandparents used. There were no modern appliances like microwave ovens, food processes, or automatic cookers like what we use today. Food may be cooked faster in modern times, but it is not as tasty or nutritious as the food our great-grandparents cook. In yesteryears, our great-grandparents used charcoal to cook. They would use a pencil and a mortar to pound their spices. The spices were then used to marinate raw food such as fish and chicken or to cook curries. They would wrap fish in banana leaves before grilling the fish over a fire. They also cooked vegetables which were freshly picked from their own gardens. Thus, the nutritional value in the food was maintained and it tasted better. This passage is mainly about the cooking method used in the past. It listed about five ways how food was prepared by our great-grandparents. Okay, petikan ini adalah uh, menceritakan tentang bagaimana kaedah masakan Orang zaman dahulu okay, Ada lima kaedah Yang digunakan okay, Yang sering digunakan oleh Nenek moyang kita untuk menyediakan makanan Boleh tak kamu kenal pasti Apakah kaedah itu Let's go through the vocabulary That I use in the passage Tasted Dirasakan More nutritious Lebih bernutrisi Atau lebih sihat Method Kaedah atau cara Modern appliances Alat kelengkapan modern Great grandparents Nenek moyang Charcoal Arang Pestle and mortar Alu dan lesung batu To pound Menghancurkan atau melumatkan Marinate Perak Dengan rempah Please copy down this vocabulary into your E1, yeah? Exercise time! Okay, for this exercise, please complete the circle map below with the information based on the passage read. Okay, tadi kan kita dah baca passage tu yang mengandungi sekurang-kurangnya 5 cara atau kaedah masakan yang digunakan oleh nenek moyang kita pada zaman dahulu. Okay, penuhkan. Uh, peta bulatan ini Ok so this is another set of comprehension questions For number 1 and 2 Please take the correct answer Ok untuk nombor 1 dan nombor 2 Sila tandakan Ok tick pada Jawapan yang betul Ok please tick inside the box Ok number 3 Why did food taste better in the old days Ok so the keywords here is 
taste better. Okay, please find in the passage the keyword. Okay, and then you should answer in past tense form. Okay, because there is did. Ah, they guna did kan dalam ayat tu. Dalam soalan tu ada did. So, jawapannya. The food tasted better in all days because... Okay, please find the answer. Number four. Name the electrical appliances that did not exist in the old days. Okay, namakan alat elektrik yang tidak terdapat pada zaman dahulu. Okay, you may say what? The microwave oven, food processors and... Okay, please find on your own. Number five. Would you be able to live without technology and modern inventions? Why? So for number five, there are two questions here. This is called double stem question. Okay, ni soalan nombor lima ni memang ada dua soalan. Dia tanya, would you be able to live? Ah, boleh tak kamu hidup tanpa ada teknologi? Dan kenapa? You need to justify your answer. Would you be able, yes or no? And why you said so, okay? We have reached our last stage of lesson for today. Before I end this session, I wish to remind you to be thankful for any food that you have for today. Say Alhamdulillah, thank your parents because of providing you the meal. And don't forget to eat healthily. Bye!